care workers are in demand in the UK and if you have been following this trend about care assistants, home care workers, carers and senior carers being added to the shortage occupation list then you'll be happy to know about the recent updates about the qualifications and how you can actually apply for this visa in 2022. So this recent update actually made it even easier for people to actually apply for this job and be able to get it. They reduced the qualification to a particular level that almost everybody that is interested in this job can actually apply and get this job. In the UK, over 6,000 opportunities for carers, for support workers, for care assistants to come to work in the UK. So this is actually the best time if you are interested. And the qualification is also something that you also want to know so let's get it hi linda Eze here welcome back to my channel if you are new here hello and welcome my name is linda Eze. i'm a registered nurse and i work in the uk in this channel i share information about nursing abroad getting jobs abroad health and lifestyle so if you are interested in any of this please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that anytime i come out with these videos you will see them okay so my returning subscribers i really really appreciate your support and your updates okay so thank you very much for always coming back and i appreciate you for that so in this video i'm going to be talking about the eligible job titles the qualification that they have already updated and the agencies that are currently recruiting the cost and i'm also going to be talking about what you need to do at the end of this video if you are interested in taking up these opportunities because i get questions about okay i'm not sure how to start what do i do so i'm going to be talking about that in this video so you not just watch this video and you will not know what to do next okay so be sure to watch this video to the very end so that you get all the details that you need from this so video. the eligible job titles the eligible job titles that you'll be looking at for when you're looking for jobs is you'll be looking out for care assistant carer home carer support worker home care assistant so these are the eligible job titles that you'll be looking out for when you are searching and for now them. the good one the qualification so before now you must have heard even from my previous videos and from people that are posting about this opportunity about some agencies requesting for a qualification that is equivalent to mvq level three now they have already reduced it to something that they call the rqf level three so i googled what is actually this rqf is actually equivalent to a level that means secondary school certificates when you think about it so these things are just the minimum requirement that they need so what they actually want is somebody that has the skills and the experience irrespective of their qualification so there is no particular formal qualification for this because they really do need people carers home carers support workers and all of that because definitely when you get a job in the uk from my experience they provide the necessary education and skills that you will need for that particular job so they have already made it very simple because this is one of the challenges that people have been having. So I will say that if you have experience caring for someone, if you have the skills, if you have the passion in Nigeria, if you have like um, community health extension workers, those experiences, those other kind of care workers that we have in Africa and in Nigeria, then this is actually one of the good news for you because they will not be looking at the particular qualifications right now. So the thing is now to find the agency the, that will be uh, that will be willing to sponsor you and also provide the necessary education that you need in the UK but I will say that if you already have a degree if you already have experience if you are a nurse or if you have like care background or care qualification it is an added advantage because if you are the employer and so many people apply for your vacancies definitely you will go for people who have more skills and who have more background in that particular field so definitely if you have any of those skills definitely you will have a greater chance than someone that doesn't have any skill at all so what i would say about this qualification is that even though there's no particular level that is now recommended if you know you can get experience if you know you can get qualification and it is easy for you to do that and you can afford it go ahead and do that because you'll be increasing your chance of getting a job that way that thing i would say is that even though this is actually trending and all of that you should always remember that they will take their own people people that are already in the uk that apply for these jobs they are going to be to be given an upper hand they definitely give preference to someone that is already in the uk before they consider someone applying from abroad so be patient when you are applying for this job and follow the pace of the agency or 
the employer that you has already given you a job offer so how about the cost so this is from my own research and from my own experience i would say that you will have to consider the cost of writing an exam like writing an english exam because i've not seen where they wipe english exam yet the english exam might not be a requirement for the job but it might be a requirement for the visa because in the visa section of the health and care worker visa you do need an english proof so for you to get an english proof i would say that you will still require to pay for that okay if you don't have a passport yet in your home country you do need a passport because even to write an english exam they do require a form of id in the form of uh, international passport so if you don't have international passport start from getting an international passport and writing an and writing an English exam like IELTS or OET. So the cost of the health and care worker is greatly reduced. So it's different from the skilled worker visa. So it's greatly reduced because of this massive recruitment in the UK. Okay, yeah. fair cost as well. So this is going to vary from the where, whichever country that you are applying from. So I would say that you do not, you should not worry about the visa and the airfare in the beginning because you might be lucky you get an employer that will be willing to sponsor your visa and your airfare and all the relocation and all of. So once you get an offer, they will also require that you do, that you also get a police report so this police report is usually required from anyone that is above 16 or 18 years from and you have lived in a country for more i think for more than three to five years depending so once you have lived in a country for a particular number of years you'll be required to get a police report from that country for example if you've lived in nigeria and ghana and some other country you may be required to get a police report from nigeria from ghana and some other countries that you have lived for a long time as an adult okay so those are the things that you are going to be required during your visa. so as a recap for the cost you will need an international passport because you consider the cost for international passport consider the cost for the visa consider for the, the cost for getting a, a police report for location the airfare ticket and for also that you might have to do a test as well for your visa so those are the costs that i remember now so there will be other costs like running around and all of that that you have to put in play but i will say just take it one at a time so agencies that you can contact today are a1 care nurses for care priori group care uk Envertis Consultancy. I'm going to leave the, the links to the agencies in the description below so you can check out those agencies and you can also. So, for the steps, you need a valid international passport, English proficiency for your visa, a good CV that includes your certificates and experience, a job offer, then a visa, and then your travel. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you found this useful. Please share with someone that needs this information. Subscribe to my channel and always come back for more. I will do my best to always provide information that will be useful to you and your loved ones. I wish you the very best in everything that you do in 2022. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.